Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to learn how to write Terraform scripts. And at the same time, we'll try to understand how a Terraform init command actually works. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So if you haven't watched my previous video where I have explained how to install Terraform, then in that case, you must first go and watch that video wherein I have installed the Terraform and at the same time, I have also installed the extension for Terraform. So, hope you are ready with this and let's begin. So now, first of all, you can see that this is my uh, VS code and I'll be first creating a new file that will be of main.tf. So basically, whenever we are working with Terraform scripts, we consider the extension of .tf in that case, okay? So over here, .tf plays an important role. So you must know that whenever we are writing the Terraform scripts, it should be have got the .tf extension, okay? Now, the first thing that we'll be trying to study over here is what is the basic syntax of Terraform, right? So we'll be creating different resources and blocks, okay? So basically speaking, instead of moving on to the complex stuff, I would like to simplify the syntax for you, okay? So how is the syntax? I'll just try to give you a brief idea about it. So we have got a block, okay on which we'll be running our terraform scripts and it depends upon the resource or anything that you want to mention so that will be coming in the later section of this playlist but for time being just try to understand the syntax without uh, considering any kind of um, doubts or anything just try to understand that there is a block with which we are going to define our different resources, okay? So we have got block and within the block, we have also the parameters for that particular block. We mentioned them also. And then we have got different key value pairs wherein we get such scenarios. Okay, so you consider any block, for example, if I consider a resource, okay, so what type of resource it is? So parameters can be multiple, okay? It's not necessary that you have to consider only one parameter, they can be multiple. And here in this way, we define the values of which are related to this particular block, okay? So just try to have this particular mindset that we define a block we have got few parameters for it and within that we mention key value pairs of different objects okay for time being just try to understand this we'll cover everything in detail okay so stay tuned so what i'll do is i'll just comment this out first okay since this is for our understanding Okay, for example, I'll be considering a provider over here. Now, in the previous lectures, I have already explained what is provider, right? So once again, I'll try to explain it anyways. So with provider, what we can do is we can connect to the cloud platforms. So in order to make use of these cloud platforms or to create the resources on the cloud platforms such as AWS, Azure, GCP, we need to install those providers first, right? So for that, we mentioned the providers over here, okay? Since I am just taking an example of AWS, you can make use of anything which we were Thing you are working upon whichever cloud you are working upon okay so within this i'll be just mentioning a key value pair that is of region and for the region i'll be mentioning it to be us east one okay and i'll be just saving it okay now i'll be running terraform init command 
Now let's wait. Now you can see over here that this is initializing the backend first. Now Terraform initialize command. So basically it is used to initialize different things for us. Okay. Its name itself suggests us so many things, right? So basically it is used to initialize the backend. Now what is a backend? So basically backend is something where you store your state file. Now your question mark must be what is a state file? So basically state file is something that tracks the resources, tracks the status of your resources, that your resources are in which state? Are they running? Are they deleted? What is the state? It, the state is something that is stored in our TF state file. Okay. So backend is something where you store your TF state file, right? And that is the file which is not getting created now. It gets created once you go for actual apply command, right? Once you go for apply command, that TF state file gets created. But since I haven't uh, yet created or yet applied anything, okay, so this is the thing. It is initializing the command backend first. Then after that, it initializes the provider plugins. Now is the main part. So what it does is it installs the required AWS provider plugins for us so that we can work with AWS. Since I have mentioned the provider as AWS right here, it is going to install the provider plugins for AWS so that we can use them to configure the infrastructure on AWS. Okay. So that is the thing. Now, one more thing that I would like to show you. You can see that these two files were not present earlier, but now after running Terraform in it, this dot Terraform folder got created and it has got this particular dot exe okay that is nothing but the provider plugin okay and within the log.hcl so also this terraform.log.hcl got created which has got hashes as well as the version of our provider so you can see this right so these two things get uh, created once we initialize with the help of Terraform. So this is all I wanted to explain over here. And basically Terraform has created this log file. Basically this log file to record the provider selections. Include this file in your version control repository so that Terraform can guarantee to make the same selections by default when you run Terraform in it in the future. So we need to store this log status. Why? Because it is a, a basically it is a dependency log file. Okay. Wherein it has mentioned all the version as well as this thing. So it really helps us and it is important to store this in our version control repository. This is what they mean to say. And in this way, yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention is this that the backend over here is the local. By default, if we don't mention any backend in our main.ta file or the configuration file, then in that case it considers it to be a local so it locally stores your tf state file okay by default and if you mention it it will consider that particular thing okay so that's it for this hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day